back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial for you guys. But before I start, I want to state the obvious. Yes, I chopped all of my hair off. Well, I guess not all of it because I still have a good amount on my head, but I chopped about three inches off of my hair, which is the absolute most I've ever cut my hair. And I gotta tell you guys, I am so happy that I did. I was so sick of my long hair. First of all, it was like so dead. I could not style it anymore. No matter what I did, it just would look terrible. And I was just really sick of it. I've literally had the same hairstyle probably for like 10 years. I've just seen so many people going from really, really long hair to sort of collarbone length hair. And I just think it looks amazing on absolutely everybody. So that's enough about my hair. Let's get into the tutorial. So the tutorial that I'll be doing today is actually going to be a Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial as well as sort of like a hair tutorial. So I did sort of like the classic Kylie Jenner look. It's a very wearable everyday look. I also wear this at night even add a little bit more black to add a little bit more drama. That's pretty much it. So let's get into the tutorial. So for my foundation, to get that Kardashian-Jenner glow, I use my Laura Mercier Primer and Radiant Bronze as well as my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. For my eyeshadow base, I'm using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Sparkle Nude and I'm just applying that all over my lid. For the eyeshadow, I'm going to be using my Lorac Pro Palette. So I'm going to be taking this creamy shade on a short shader brush and I'm going to apply that all over my lid and even up to my brow bone. Next, I'm taking this gorgeous sparkly nude color and I'm going to apply that to my whole entire eyelid and I'm also going to apply that to the inner corner of my eye to make my eyes pop as well as to my brow bone. Next, I'm taking mauve and I'm going to apply that on a fluffy crease brush right at the outer corner of my eye and sort of into the crease. The whole point of this tutorial is to apply all the darker colors right at the outer corner of the eye. That way, it will give the illusion that your eyes are pulled out, which will give that really nice almond shape like Kylie has. Now, I'm taking pewter and I'm going to apply that right where the nude and the mauve color meet so there's a nice transition. Next, I'm going to take sable, which is a gorgeous warm brown, and I'm going to apply that right in the outer V, so right in the corner corners of my eye and once again this will pull it out and make your eyes look really nice and almond shaped. And then I'm just taking a clean blending brush and I'm just going to blend around the edges so there are no harsh lines. And I'm grabbing that mauve color once again and I'm just going to run that along my lower lash line to add some definition. And then I'm taking my black eyeliner from Urban Decay. This is in zero and I'm going to line my upper as well as my lower waterline with this. And then I'm just going to blend out that color with this brush. Now to accentuate your eyes even more, make them even more almond shaped, you want to take a liquid eyeliner and make a slight wing on your upper lash line. But instead of lining your whole entire lash line, you want to go only halfway. And this will once again give the illusion that your eyes are pulled outwards, which will give you that Kylie Jenner look. After finishing the eyeliner, I applied my Kevin O'Quinn The Volume Mascara and I also curled my lashes to make them look nice and big. And now on to concealer. So I'm using my Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer in Very Fair and I'm going to create that triangle shape down my face to create a really nice highlighting effect like all the Kardashians and Jenners have. So I'm going down my nose, up on my forehead, as well as on my chin and near my cupid's bow. And I'm also applying that right underneath the hollows of my cheek. And then I'm just blending that in with my Beauty Blender. And now on to contour. I'm use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I'm going to apply that right on my cheekbones and this will make your skin look really nice and glowy and it'll give that really nice contoured effect as well. As you can see the difference over here, it is huge and it really makes a difference so definitely take the extra step to contour. Moving on to blush, I'm using this NARS Blush in Torrid. It's a gorgeous peachy pink shade and I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks. This looks very similar to the blush that Kylie was wearing as well. As for the highlighter, I don't want my skin to shimmer, I want it to glow. So I'm using this Girl Meets Pearl highlighter from Benefit and I'm applying that to the tops of my cheekbones as well as to the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow and blending that in with my finger. Then I filled in my brows off camera. If you like to see how I did that, I will link a video that I did in the description box down below. And now I'm just lining my lips with Boldly Bare Lip Liner from MAC. And then for the lipstick, I'm taking Native from Urban Decay, which is just a pinky color, and this is very similar to the color that she was wearing in the photo. And I'm applying that to my lips, and then I'm gonna top it off with this Stilla Pink Lip Glaze. Once you're done with the lips, it's time to move on to the hair. So I'm taking my heat protectant, because I just cut my hair, so I wanna keep it nice and healthy, especially since I'm using heat on it. And I'm just sectioning off, and I'm going to be sectioning off to three sections, and then I'm just taking my GHD flat iron and running it through my hair. Nothing more complicated than that. Very easy, just straightening it so it's nice and straight because my hair did have a wave to it. And in the picture, Kylie's hair was stick straight. So I'm going to try and replicate that. And then once I get to the top layer, I'm just gonna straighten sort of the bottom half of my hair because I wanna keep some volume right at the top. 
Then I'm taking this KMS hair play molding paste and I'm just going to run that through my hair to give it some texture. And as you can see, I flipped it over over there just to give it some more volume. And then once you're done, you're pretty much done with the whole entire tutorial. So that's it for the finished Kylie Jenner makeup and hair look. So that is it for the finished Kylie Jenner inspired hair and makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And of course, do not forget to like this video, give it a nice big thumbs up, and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already. So that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.